everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to be doing a pantry prep stock up so I have a few things that I am missing in my back stock in the pantry that I have if you are new here hi hello so happy you stopped by my name is Tori I run Mountain Mama Living I am a wife teacher mother of two and we live in really beautiful northern Colorado you may hear some kids in the background of my videos but I swear we're a good time I promise if you just hit that subscribe button we would love to have you part of our YouTube family we are going to get into today's haul it's pretty small we spent around $30 and I think that we got a lot of bang for our buck I am going to be using some of these ingredients to do a video this week about feeding my family for $10 I know that may seem extreme but we are on some hard times right now we are doing everything we can to keep my family safe happy and healthy during these times i know a lot of us may be fearful of food shortages if you are ever experiencing food insecurity in your home please reach out there are so many resources out there in your communities online you can reach out to me there are so many places that are willing to help you. You can dial your local 411, go to your food pantry. If you have any children, all of the school districts are doing what they can to provide for families right now. There is no shame in asking for help. So please, if you are experiencing food insecurity in your home, please reach out. I myself have a job. My husband has a job. I am so, so grateful that I can provide and put food on my family. So I never take any of this for granted. But if you do need help, please reach out to someone. That is why those resources are there. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into today's video. Hey friends, we just got back from Target. We spent $30.14 this time. Um, it's just a little pantry stock up and then I'm going to challenge myself and my family to eat for $10 the entire week. Um, Delilah has found her way onto the water. Uh, she's getting brave lately. So anyways, into the grocery haul, we got some Russet potatoes, five pound bag of that. I will list all of the prices in the description. Uh, we got some chicken flavored ramen noodle, a six pack. Got this Demi French bread. We have a red onion, some original unsweetened cocoa milk. We have these four cheese gnocchis. These are on closeout and they're like 70% off. So I would go and get them now if you could. We have some dried goods here. I like to keep at least two on hand, so I'm just replenishing what I had. So I have some black beans, lentils, garbanzo beans, pinto beans, long grain brown rice, and long grain white rice, two pounds and one pound. And then I have some plain cream cheese, that is for the challenge, as well as some chopped spinach that is frozen. I have some of these mashed potatoes because I made some this week and I'm just replenishing what I have. I like to have like five to 10 backed up in my little prepper pantry. And now over here, we have some frozen mixed veggies, some baby carrots, we have some tomato sauce. Uh, um, this also is something that I'm replenishing. I have some Lipton soup mix. They had veggie soup mix too, but they didn't have it at my Target. I prefer the veggie soup mix because you can do a lot with that. I have some unbleached all-purpose flour. I have some eggs and I have two bananas. And that is just about it. My plan is to go through some of these ingredients and give you ideas um, of what you could make with the ingredient and um, some of the reasons why I choose these ingredients. As some of you know, I don't eat meat or dairy, but my family does. So you might find some dairy in here. I didn't buy any meat this time, but if you need meat, you could. Let me see if I can show you my pantry here without being embarrassed by how not clean it is. No, it's all right, okay. Um, you could do some chicken, tuna, salmon. I think they have canned beef, things like that. So if you want to add that to these, you can. I'm not going to. To me, I just don't need meat. I know some of you think that you do, but I promise you, you can go a meal without meat. <laughs> um, so let's go through some of these ingredients. All right. Garbanzo beans or chickpeas, excellent source of fiber. Very, very true. It has some other vitamins and nutrients that your body needs. We like to use these for um, a chicken substitute. So I'm going to make buffalo chicken pizza with this, put some buffalo sauce. You could also make some hummus with this. 
put some olive oil, some lemon, tahini if you have it. It's not necessary though. Um, and then use that as a dip. Or I like to put chickpeas in chilies and curries. They're really, really great simmer um, style kind of bean, but we love chickpeas. That's something that we always have on hand. Next favorite item to always have on hand is um, potatoes. Now potatoes with the dirt on can stay pretty good for a little bit, but it's not gonna be something that's completely shelf stable. We like to make mashed potatoes with this. We like to make pierogies with this. I like to boil it down and make a cheese sauce. They are really great thickeners for certain items. If you wanted to make a casserole and needed some extra bulk or something like that, potatoes are really great in curries as well. So many different things that you can do with potatoes. I encourage you to grow your own. That way you won't have to keep buying them. You can grow your own potatoes just by taking one that has its little stems growing off of it and placing that in some dirt. I know some of us don't have gardens, but you could even just put a pot of dirt on your balcony if you live in a city and grow it like that. Ramen noodles, always a good one to have on hand. Most of us lived off of this in college. Um, I know as an art studio, um, an art student, I had a lot of studio time, so I was constantly eating these. The flavor packet to me is a bit unnecessary and chock full of sodium, so you might wanna watch your content on that, but you could use the flavor packet for other items in the kitchen as well and not use the whole thing, so more of a seasoning rather than putting the whole thing in. But ramen noodles are great because you can add a ton of veggies to it, some water, make a soup out of it. You could use them in place of spaghetti noodles you could layer them and use them like a lasagna I've done that before um, there are many many things that you can do with these noodles here so I encourage you to have some sort of pasta on hand dried pasta this is my choice but I also do have other pastas as well for freezer stock, I always tend to have mixed vegetables on hand, but I do have the standard veggies. So I have just corn, I have just carrots, I could have just green beans and just broccoli. I love having these on hand because you can put it in just about anything to add some nutrients. It's great for kids and honestly, they're not gonna be able to taste it. They may be able to see it like my kids, so they may pick it out, but you could always try. So mixed veggies in the freezer section are always a great thing to have on hand in my opinion. All right, this one is kind of specific. Um, this just happens to be on sale this week, but look for things that have a significant sale. I believe they are discontinuing this at Target. I could be wrong though. If anyone works for Target, please correct me if I'm wrong, but these were 70% off, like I said, 60 or 70, and they came down to, I believe, $1.29. Um, they only had two left at my store, but they were $3.49, and that's a really incredible price so I encourage you to look at the sale racks in your grocery stores if you have a chance to go in but you could always look on one of the apps and see if there are any extreme coupons on your app. All right, another one we always have is rice. We have white rice and brown rice of course. I feel like white rice is always the more popular but Brown rice, in my opinion, is super tasty and it has some better nutrients for you, in my opinion. So um, rice is great to have on hand. You could put it inside of an enchilada. You could also make it into an Asian dish. You could have it plain if you wanted. I sometimes make this like into sticky rice and make them into patties. They are great to bulk up for veggie burgers. They can be grinded down and made into a flour. There are so many different ways that you could use rice. Please drop down in the comments your favorite way to use rice because I'm always looking for a new way. Of course, I feel like I've always tried all the ways, but you all always have the best ideas. So share that in the comments, what your favorite thing to do with rice is. Another friend of the pantry is going to be this unbleached all-purpose flour. I really like the ancient grain flours like einkorn, um, but I always do like having some regular flour on hand. Many things that you can do with flour. You can bake with it. You can make bread with it. You can use it to thicken things. There are just so many different ways. For instance, this week we are going to make it into a pizza crust and get those garbanzo beans cooked and do a buffalo chicken pizza. So 
There are, like I said, so many different ways to use flour. I, of course, always go for the bread, the carbs. That's what I like to eat. That's what my family likes to eat. So I encourage you to have some sort of flour on hand. All right, another thing, this is just a lonesome tomato sauce right now, and it doesn't have to be tomato, but I encourage you to have some sort of sauce in cans, whether that be a curry, an enchilada, a tomato. There are so many different sauces that you could add to these meals to make it more flavorful if you do not have any seasonings, but they are a great thing to have on hand, and they are so, so cheap. So this tomato sauce was 35 cents, and it tastes delicious. Honestly, I just add some seasonings to mine, but it is totally not necessary. This will go in just about every dish we make this week. And last but not least, some soup dips and mixes. This is just the French onion, but there's veggie. There's so many different ways to season all of these meals. Um, I know a lot of you, when you're looking at this, you're saying it's not a lot of food and I'm not creative in the kitchen. I am always up for a challenge. So let me know what you have on your pantry that you are stuck on, you're stumped, you don't know what to do with, maybe it's going to expire soon, I promise you I will find some sort of way that you can eat it, or many ways, I'm not sure, it depends how creative I'm feeling. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my pantry prep and some ideas to get you going for your week. I always encourage you to stock up when you can. Reach out if you are having any food insecurity. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye.